grace, peace, and blessings from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, during the time throughout this week, I believe from like November 1st to November 4th, as I was praying, the Lord gave me this um, prophetic word, this prophecy. And, you know, it's urgent. I just wanted to make sure it was him at the time, so I did not upload it right away. But um, after I seen like a confirmation, I said to myself, I, I have to get this, this word out. So I, I pray that um, you take heed to this, that you pray as well, you know, and repent. Pray for the lost, pray for, for God's people, you know, pray for people that they repent. Um, perhaps maybe this disaster can be, you know, thwarted. But pray. Thus says the Lord, many are coming from afar. The enemy shall come to the coasts of this nation. Fire and war, for this nation has yet to humble herself. Therefore, a disaster is coming. Blow the trumpet, sound the alarm, for war is coming and an attack against this nation. In the midst of this, my people will flourish and I will protect them. The wicked shall be abased and destroyed. This is not yet the end, but stand firm, for my coming is imminent. I pray that you take this to heart, um, share this message, and you know, repent, you know, from your sins if you haven't already. If you haven't already accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I suggest you do so. ASAP, even now, this is the hour because. You see things are going on in this world, in this nation, and, you know, everything is being fulfilled as our Lord and Savior Jesus prophesied. And things are going to get worse. So just, you know, prepare yourself, spend time with the Lord, seek his face, um, hear from him. You have to build a personal relationship with him yourself. We're in a serious hour. So I'm going to keep praying. I, I pray that you do the same as well. You know, let's pray that um, people repent, pray for the lost, pray for God's people. You know, he's going to provide for us. He'll protect us and he'll direct us. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you.